Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome to the ring Yasin Bandui. The world. Bandui Robin Strania. Pierce, Gabriel. That he probably should be fighting at 107. It is one of the most fan friendly styles in MMA today. And it's scheduled for three five minute rounds in the middleweight division. This bout is proudly brought to you by Sherbatov MMA. Les juges pour ce combat de judges pour this bout. Guy Girard, Yannick Louf, and David Terrien. Your referee, a 10-year veteran in combat sports, Philippe Chartier. Introducing first in the blue corner, he weighed in at a fighting ready 185 pounds. Professional record reads as follows. Four wins and seven outings as a professional, with two wins coming by way of submission. Originally from Paris, France, now fighting and residing out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, proudly representing the Tri-Star Gym, Yassé Bandoi. His opponent in the red corner. He weighed in at 185 pounds. His professional record, a perfect one. Five wins with three wins coming by way of knockout and one submission. He proudly represents Team Bergeron. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the world. For the co-man event, three five-minute rounds. Philip Chartier saying, go back to your corner. <laughs> You'll get to fight each other in just a couple of seconds. <laughs> you don't have to be so eager. But uh, these two will be eager to get after it. That is for sure. Ravilovic has two wins in the third round. So this is a guy that can finish the show late in the game. Beautiful job by Bandui. Beautiful. But touching him with it consistently. Oh, man, he has got more than happy to let those combinations go and let him go loose. Lightning fast hands displayed early by Bandui. Shabalovic does not seem concerned at this stage. Wow, they literally found a, a, an opponent so willing to fight exactly like the Viking fights here. And Bandui more than happy. That was a step one. You're gonna feel that on the lower leg. Really good to dig into the body. Very impressed by Bandui's head movement. See how he slipped that first jab that came in with 1-1-2. One, one, and now he's corralling him, circling away. Bandui did not come in here to just be blitzed by this uh, Viking guy. Oh, oh, what a right uppercut. Tags Gavrilovic. Bandui. With some good work early here in round one. Whether uh, strength and conditioning is a focus or not, boxing certainly is for this man. Look how comfortable he is there on the fire. This is a this is a tough fight for Stanya. Every fight Every he's fight. been in has been a hell of a battle. And he's gonna try to will his way through this one like he does every other one. And that, and that is a tough assignment. But he's found a nice spot in here tighter with the one collar tie in the dirty box. And again, when you look at the physique of Bandui, you see Gavrilovic digging to the body. You know that's going to pay off the yes. so later this fight goes. Bandui slipped a few uppercuts of his own in there, and you see a much tighter guard now from Strania. Oh, he's been lit up early. He does not care. You have to turn him off. I, you, he will not stop fighting. I mean, he will absolutely keep going. But Bandui is striking his excellent. That low kick, low, low kick has been working great. 
And Robin, you and I talked about intangibles in the past. For Ben Dewey, he's landing almost at will. And for a fighter who is landing like that, but your opponent continues to come forward, that must be disheartening. Yeah, it's spooky, you know? He knows what kind of power he has. It's technique that it generates his power. Look at that. That's, that's going to pay off. Yeah. The, one of the themes tonight has been the value of low kicks. But look at the trouble Stanley's in. There are no easy fights that fight for pride, baby. Wow, what a hell of a fight already. We're halfway through round one. Can Ben Dewey keep this up? Both men trying to dominate the clinch. Ben Dewey with a tight hook on the way out as he circles around. Strania is going to feel fatigue. His punches require a lot more energy. And there's another third or the fourth of those. His punches require a lot more exertion. That one definitely got Gavrilovic's attention. But he comes back with a right hand. This guy, this bad wee guy, not the slightest bit intimidated, not the slightest bit threatened, and, and so confident in his skills. Now looking for the takedown, Gavrilovic stopping it momentarily, Bandui sticking with it. If it's not, make it happen. You know, we looked at the physique and we talked about endurance and about the fitness and how it could affect the fight early and late. But Bandui has forced Bandui to exert a lot more. Bandui is doing what he does with the box. He's about speed, not power. He's about fluidity. He's about this takeout right now. It's not his time to move the box. Let's go! 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 Let's Thursday afternoon, we were discussing Strania with Cody, one of our friends there, and a few of the other guys, and we described what you expect from this yep. fight. Is that it's, it's, it's this. going down exactly <laughs> the way we anticipated. Yeah. It's this. He wants to hurt you, and in the process of, he is going to get hurt, and he's facing a skilled man in uh, Bandui here. And Strania starts out moving his head much better here, but he gets touched with the jab. And I want to look at that uh, kick. We've seen, you mentioned the theme of the low kick on the lead leg. However, we're seeing Gavrilovic attack the cap opposed yes. to the thigh. Yeah. Oh! He, oh! Gavrilovic could be hurt here. He wobbled El Menden and now drags him down using the foot face lock position. He wobbled Strania and Strania answered with a hard right. But yeah, that low kick, Ben Henderson yep. used to use it. It uh, definitely upsets the man's balance, and it will slow down his footwork, and it hurts. Quite a 
few of them, but we've seen this before. And he comes back firing. And then you see a, a big uppercut land from Gorillavich, followed by the knee. Right now, trying his best to turn it on, but Banda Lee moving forward. Yeah, I want to talk to Simon for both of these two guys. They got a guy just like themselves here. Banda Lee slightly slicker, a little more elegant in his technique, and that's what's winning these exchanges now. But Strania, he's just going to fight like a caveman, and sometimes that works. And now Bandui looks for the takedown. Another knee to the midsection Ooh. for Gavrilovic. Great head movement. He still progresses forward. Jesus. <laughs> we are only seven minutes into this fight. Is that humanly possible? There is no way we, that these two could do this for eight more minutes. And I'm sure that is what Gavrilovic is anticipating. I thought, you know, all of his fights are like this. He will, he's willing to take and he'll take and he'll take in hopes that he gets his. But tonight he is taking an inhuman yeah. amount of time. And he's tired too. This is some danger here. But as you can see, Vandalee's starting to slow down. But as I say that, he scores and you see the corner of Vandalee or Dean Taleb jump up with joy. What a nuts fight. And the feeling of getting this down and getting a stable position on top has got to be so good for the confidence of Bandui. And Bartlett for the cardio of uh, Stanya. Gavrilovic trying to get back to his feet. Will he be able to? Bandui showing his full mixed martial arts arsenal as he looks to control the back. Australia was trying to get a hold of one of those base arms, but uh, he is in trouble. He's looking for the body triangle. Australia lifts his hip to try to hide it. He's trying to get down, though. And you hear a lot of people in the audience yelling, Yes, see. Well, this guy's a real deal, man. And just staying with it, you're going to have a hard time getting him off, particularly while tired, smashed, you have blood in your eyes. And Strania has had a hard of a tough couple of first, uh, first couple of rounds. But there is something in this man that will not yep. allow him to give up. As you mentioned, you have to shut the lights in. Yep. you got to finish him. You've got to put him out. He's trying to pry out that hook. one yeah. hook. In doing so, sometimes you put your neck in jeopardy. But he does it, oh. and he ends up on top with just <laughs> over 30 seconds remaining. Is it time to make Vandui pay? You could not like this. And actually, 10 seconds remaining, and one more moment. Ridiculous combat being displayed here in our co-main feature bout. Everyone in the venue standing. It's, it's just a very special fight you're witnessing. Not just because of the supple technique that we're seeing, but because of the heart, guts, and desire of these men. We knew that was the case with Spania. And uh, this kid, uh, Yassine Bandui, wow, he is skilled. And he is finding out a lot about himself tonight. What kind of man? Is, what he can do through the chaos and through the pain, and he has looked spectacular. And when he got that takedown at the end, or midway through round two, I think he cemented himself that round, in my opinion. And I'll tell you something about Bandui Robin. He is currently riding a two-fight winning streak after losing three straight fights. Well, that tells you who this man is. When it comes easy, we can all do it. But when you start to really be tested, look, he's walking out, he wants some. But as I mentioned earlier, Gavrilovic has two victories out of his five.
that have ended in the third round. While we're talking about Stani being a caveman, he's also very small. He spotted that bit of water, and he asked him to clean it, which got him an extra yeah. 20 seconds of recovery. That would be valuable for him. Let's see what he can do with it. If I'm uh, Nordin Taleb, I'm asking for circular movement and jabs, jab at distance. If you are in the corner of Yassine Bandui, are you confident that he is he has won the first two rounds? You can never be sure that that was my opinion. Gavrilovic beaten, battered, but not broken. Not yet. No. Looking for the Hail Mary bomb. We, we love his skill and we love the, the way he fights, but I've never seen the kind of heart and desire. It's so rare what you see from him, but really from both of these two. Because Ben Wee has been looking yes. at his face. Yes. And now he's, gonna, he's looking to finish. Someone's getting finished in this round. Ben Wee is not fighting the way he is. He's coming alive every time. He should have been circling down, circling down. He wants, he's found something special in this fight and in himself. And in this matchup with Scott and he's looking for more. Takedown once again, really mixing it up nicely. Is the fighter from France? If he can get the, the takedown, he may really ensure this victory. Cheers, but you can ensure it by doing, shutting the lights off of the mic in front of you. What a performance from both these guys! And there is an opportunity, but off the floor. big elbow lands for Gabrilovich. Looking for the uppercut from downtown. Wow. I would not like to see the punch stats on this. I don't know how you get into quadruple digits in under 15 minutes. But yeah. <laughs>
incredibly talented men face off against each other in a perfectly put together battle. Both learned so much about themselves, they learned so much about each other. That was wonderful to see. And look at Stratton battling out to the very end. And he went for that fake takedown of the uppercut, and he's the one who got fed. Staggers back here. You're not going to see a lot of men like either of these two in your life and getting a chance to put them together like this. That was, that was absolutely wonderful. They've waited their whole life to get the opportunity to test themselves at this level. And whatever doubts they might have had about themselves, they are gone now. That was amazing. Down to the bitter end. Despite the outcome, both men should be very proud of the abilities they displayed here tonight in Laval, Quebec. Mesdames, Mesdemoiselles, Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, before rendering the official decision, did they give us a war or what? Let's give them a tremendous round of applause. Alors voici la décision des juges. Here's the judge's decision. Les juges Girard, Louf et Terrien voient tous le combat de la même manière. All three judges see it the same way. 30 to 27 for your winner, pour votre vainqueur. Yassine Bande! Please put your hands together for both of these two men. Sanya, please wait, I'm going to talk to you after. That was a wonderful fight. Wonderful, beautiful, beautiful fight. Let's look this way. Listen, man, that was an incredible fight that you just put on with this man. You gotta, you have to feel good after that. I mean, you have to feel in, in incredible pain, but you have to feel good. I'm uh, very good. Uh, can I speak in French? Yes, please, en français. Uh, je me sens vraiment bien. Et uh, je, je voudrais dédier ce combat à mon ami Jogi. Jogi, t'es où, Jogi? C'est pour toi. C'est pour toi, Jogi aussi. Euh, je voulais remercier aussi les frères Sherbatov de m'avoir donné ma chance. Euh, et euh, sur, surtout, un grand, grand merci à Franco et Nordine Taleb. C'est vraiment des, des frères pour moi. Et sans eux, j'aurais peut-être pas gagné ce soir. Après, je voulais dire aussi, il euh, y a beaucoup de gens qui ont pensé que j'étais faible. Il y a beaucoup de gens qui ont pensé que j'allais pas y arriver ce soir. Et ce victoire, c'est pour eux aussi. Pour leur montrer que... On me disait, Strania, il est tough. Strania, il est dangereux. C'est vrai tout ça. Mais ce soir, je pense vous avoir prouvé que je suis dangereux aussi. Et je voudrais surtout remercier ma femme, Elise ici présente. Euh, sans toi, bébé, euh, c'est sûrement pas à ce niveau-là pour tous les bons plats que tu m'as préparés. Et à mes beaux-parents aussi, merci à mes beaux-parents d'être venus. Ladies and gentlemen, that was one of the greatest fights that we've seen. You should be very, very proud of that, sir. Congratulations. Thank you for that wonderful fight. Stranya, ladies and gentlemen, let's please hear it for Stranya Gavrilovic. Let's hear it for this man. Dude, that was a special fight. That was a very special fight that you got to be a part of. The two of you must have learned so much about yourselves having that kind of battle. I know it's your first loss, but do you understand how special that was? Yeah, what I understand is I can lose now and I will train harder. That's gonna never happen again. I'm sorry, everybody, but I hope you enjoyed the show. You know, that's... Lose, but lose when you don't fight well. It's something else than lose when you fight hard. You know, the guy who, who I fighting, he's a hard guy. He looked like me, hard, hard, but he's a little bit better than me for this one, you know. 
Congratulations. I want to thank both of these two gentlemen for that incredible fight. Let's hear it for both these two. Congratulations on a great fight. Hey, merci tout le monde d'être venu ici pour supporter. Je veux remercier tous mes commanditaires. Puis tous ceux qui veulent se joindre à moi pour l'after party, c'est au Loup-Garou. Fait que venez prendre au moins un verre avec moi, s'il vous plaît. Merci tout le monde. Have a good night. Thank you for the great fight, gentlemen.